from uh, just creating an equation of a line uh, just just creating a few points across the line x's and y's and minimizing the square distances so minimizing the square distances between the observations and the line itself so we need to minimize minimize these squared these squared distances or deviations let's say which are usually known as the residuals yeah okay well actually the residuals are the distance between the observations in the population and the true regression line that actually fits fits the population data set okay now we have a set of formulas that allow us to calculate what a and b are and as i said that these particular formulas have been developed we have actually a video up on this uh, which is a derivation video that allows us to derive this uh, these particular these particular values a and b and what we know is that the b value b is simply equal to n times the sum of the x y's minus the sum of the x's times the sum of the y's divided by n times the sum of the x squared terms minus the sum of the x terms squared this particular this particular calculation here will give us our slope of our line that's the line of best fit through the data set and the intercept a is simply equal to the sum of the y's divided by n actually it's equal to y bar okay so anytime you add, you add things up you divide by how many you have you end up with calculating a mean value so it's equal to our sample our sample y uh, our sample mean for y minus the b value this particular coefficient this slope times the sum of the x's divided by divided by n so once again there's an alternative form for this this could be a is equal to y bar minus b times times x bar okay but i like to leave it in the, with this with this particular with this summation notation because it's actually easier easier to calculate okay actually when we do our correlation analysis we have a particular formula for our correlation which is or is equal to n times sigma x y minus sigma x times sigma y all divided by uh, n times sigma x squared minus sigma x all to be squared it's that factor times n times sigma y squared minus sigma y all to be squared and it's the square root of that factor so usually when we're doing a correlation and a regression analysis we will have calculated our correlation formula okay and all i'm really trying to say here is that we get for free we get for free these particular values that are going into these to estimate these particular parameters okay n times sigma x y minus sigma x times sigma y whoops is the numerator in our correlation calculation n times sigma x squared minus sigma x to be squared is the left part of this denominator okay and we know what the sum of the y's are and the sum of the x's so we can always calculate so we can calculate b because we know it from our correlation value okay and we can calculate a straight away okay but now to calculate this i'm going to just run the calculation again we need to calculate the sum of the x y's the sum of the x's the sum of the y's the sum of the x squared terms so actually what we need is we need the we need to calculate the x squared terms and we need to calculate the x y terms in order to figure out this particular equation here so the x squared terms are simply the square root of our x observations so five fives is 25 eight eights is 64 two twos is four two twos is four three threes is nine six sixes is 36 seven sevens is 49 four fours is 16 seven sevens is 49 and finally once times one is one okay and our cross products are x times our y's are our x values times our y values so it's five times six gives us 30 it's eight times seven seven eighths is 56 or eight sevens is 56 two times four is eight two times two is four uh, three times uh, five is 15 six sixes is 36 seven fives is 25 four fives is 20 seven sevens is 49 and once one is one okay so this is all the hard this is actually the hard work done but what we also need to do is we need to sum up we need to sum up these particular values okay so we need to calculate what the summation of them values are uh, and i think i've calculated that already okay so the summation of the x's is when we sum up the x column we get 45 the summation of the y column is 48 the summation of the x squared column is 257 and the summation of the x y column is equal to 254 okay so let's just keep them values in mind all they were were the sum of these columns 
uh, which from a notation perspective gives us a number of values, gives us a number of our terms in our formula. This value here is the sum of the x values. This is the sum of the y values. This is the sum of the x squared terms. And this is the sum of the cross products x, y. So actually we have everything to go into our formula now. So let's do the calculation. So let's calculate the slope of the best fit line uh, for this particular data set. So let's calculate the slope of the best fit line. Okay. Don't forget our formula that we require. The formula, the line that we're trying to estimate are our best, our best fit regression line. Okay, regression line. Okay. Our best fit regression line for this particular data set okay, is is y is equal to a plus bx so it's y is equal to a plus bx where where and we've defined this already in the previous video we've calculated it where b is equal to n times the sum of the xy's minus the sum of the x's times the sum of the y's divided by